Hello, 10th graders. This is Miss Natalie, your history teacher. I hope you're doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will explain or discuss the material included for week number eight, starting from the first day, the 25th of February. Now on this day, as you all know, um, you are going to start group number one and group number two will present their three, their A3 project as mentioned here um, uh, with the objective of course assigned to them as for group number one geek city states exper experimented with different forms of governance as for group number two democracy developed in Athens where citizens participated in lawmaking and in the courts uh, in reference of course to the essential question how much power should the government have so uh, please be prepared um, for your presentation. Uh, your PPT should be ready. Your 3D model should also be ready. Um, make sure there is specific instructions for the 3D model. Please, um, you need to follow these instructions and follow the rubric, of course. Now on the following day, group number and group number four will present their A3 project. Um, group number three, Greek city-states cooperated to defeat a threat from the Persian Empire, but rivalry between Athens and Sparta led to a series of wars that weakened all of Greece. As for <coughs> group number four, the ancient Greeks pioneered scientific and medical discoveries, and they made important contributions in philosophy, history, and in the arts. Um, I forgot to mention in this tutorial, what I mentioned in class, that each group um, should present for not less or more than 15 minutes, okay? Uh, make sure that your PPT includes all the requirements that I said in the block, okay? So, on the following day, um, <coughs> the final group, group number five, will present, um, okay, group number five will present their A3 project with this objective. Um, the following objective. Uh, Alexander the Great conquered an empire stretching from Egypt to India, helping to spread Greek culture and learning across a wide area. Okay. Um, now, after group five presents um, the work for 15 minutes, immediately we are going to start working on the first lesson uh, in topic six, ancient Rome and the origins of Christianity, which is lesson 5.1, the Roman Republic. As you can see here, you have a PPT that explains the Roman Republic along with tutorials. Um, now, in, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to scan and scan, how to study, basically, how to highlight important information in the text and, um, and so on. So you're going to work uh, in groups to build a carton paper that showcases anal uh, analytical reflections that serve as proper answers for the following assigned lesson objectives uh, by discussing and then using the pieces of information and findings that were shared during yesterday's class. Um, group number one has a specific objective. Um, or group number two and three and four, the same thing with different objectives. Okay, I also included a block that with essential aiding information for scanning and scanning techniques. And on the 28th, you are going to present uh, your work on the objectives of the lesson 5.1 as a group. Now, on the last day of this week, we are going to have a debate class that revolves around should we learn about history and the past? I think it's a very interesting topic. You have a tutorial here that, um, that reflects a certain perspective of a person talking about learning the past. So watch it. 
you also have here exactly the distribution I would say of time throughout the debate class thank you so much for listening and have a nice day